Hey guys, welcome to my first attempt at a sort of tutorial. Anyway, giving it my best shot. So the first thing I do is I seal my wood and you can use either polycrylic or gesso. Um, and there's probably other things you can do like spray paint it or whatnot. But I usually use polycrylic to seal my board so there's no warping. And then I like to actually draw out my design. It just helps give me a visual um, so I can have a rough draft of how I want my geo to look. And my most common question is what do I use to make those three-dimensional borders to keep my resin in? And that would be Magic Sculpt. It's also a two-part resin. It's just in clay form. I will link um, any product that I can down in my description that I use so that you have a easy way to go find these things. I usually let my magic sculpt set up overnight before I begin working with it again and it will adhere to the board without anything else and um, it's ready to go. So here you see me painting my magic sculpt to create some veins in my geode. And then I went ahead and decided I was going to play around with color. I had an idea but I wanted to go ahead and paint a base coat just because I'm very visual and it helps me to plan out how I'm going to pour my resin. So this is just a different um, kinds of acrylic paints that I'm painting and it's bit probably unnecessary for most people but it helps give me an idea of how I want my resin to look when I'm mixing it. So I'd already poured one section of resin. My camera wasn't functioning when I did that but you'll see me pour more later. But this is where I tape off my borders, and this is the best tape I've found so far to build resin dams with. And it's just a Scotch general purpose tape, and again, I'll link that in the description below. But I, um, I take the tape and then I fold over just the top part of it, just so it's not sticking to me when I'm working the resin. And then I go ahead and I adhere it to the sides of the board, and then use a popsicle stick or something smooth and just rub along the edge of the tape, especially where the uh, top of the board meets the tape. And that'll create a really solid seam so your resin's not leaking through. And for the most part, I have a lot of luck using this tape in this method. Every now and then you'll get a little bit of a leak, but it works really, really well. So I use Art Resin brand resin. And just make sure you follow the directions. It's a one-to-one -one resin. And mix it really, really well, scraping the sides and the bottom of your cup at least for three minutes or so. So then the creative, colorful, fun part begins. And um, I use a combination of pigments and I like to mix my own colors. So you'll see me here using La Res. It's a powdered resin pigment and it comes from Australia. And I'm mixing that with some acrylic paint and maybe some Perlex powders. But this is where you can just have fun and get creative. Just make sure when you're mixing um, paint into resin that the rule of thumb is not to mix more than 10% pigment into your resin. Some pigments, a little less, some you can get away with more. A lot of it's been trial and error and experimentation on my part. But just have fun and play and start pouring. You'll see me here using a small torch that helps pop the bubbles and loosen up the resin so I can move it around more. I like to add in new colors and different pigments just to give it depth and dimension. And work it around with my hands or popsicle sticks or whatever tool you have handy that works for you. And I'll even use a blowtorch to move the colors around and create cool effects and cells and lacing and such. And then comes the fun part of adding glitters. Make sure you use polyester glitter because other glitters can bleed out into your resin. So anyway, I like to add glitters, crushed glass, and crystals, and sometimes even real gemstones to my geodes. So just play around and have fun and experiment, but you'll see me going through some of my process here.
With the art resin I use, I like to wait a couple hours after I've poured my resin and it starts to get gummy to embellish it with my crushed glass or crystals or gemstones. That way it doesn't sink to the bottom or spread the resin out. It just stays right where I put it. And this is also a great time to take that tape off that you put around the border. You don't want to wait till your resin's all the way cured, although you can, but it'll leave you with a hard, sharp line. So I like to take my tape off about two to three hours after I pour, when it's that gummy stage, and it'll just crown over the edge really nicely and usually not flow over the sides, but it'll give you a nice soft rounded edge. So I'm going to end this video here and do a part two so this doesn't get too lengthy. But I have all but one section and the final coat done here. And it really takes several weeks for me to finish this project because I would pour a section, let it cure, and then pour another section and let it cure, and so on and so forth. So I'll get better at these videos and give you a lot more detail in the future. I'm just learning and I'm just wanting to put something up for everyone who's requested to see how I put this together. And feel free to ask me questions in the comments or send me emails and I'd be happy to answer what I know and what I've learned so far. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you.